Hello everybody, my name is Kara on Fire and welcome to a Conan Exiles video. Today we'll be looking at armor plating and how it is changing in 3.0. Are they worse off or are they better off and how much are they changing in general? We'll be mainly focusing on the thick, thin and normal armor plating and we will be talking about the master and the bolt plating. And these are the upgrades you can stick on your armor to give you more armor in general. So the thing we're going to be testing today is the Voidforge Dragon Ribs. Now these come out at 420, this is crafted by me and not by a thrill. <laughs> so that's what you get there so that is the most basic one you can get but how does that relate when you change it from light medium and heavy plates so looking at the you know lightest plate you can get the thin one you can see this ups it by plus four when i add one of these platings to the chest pad so i get 424 instead of 420 and it goes up a little bit more when we look at the normal medium one you can see instead of 420 is now 428 which is a plus eight to the armor there so some nice changes here this used to be plus one plus two and plus three between the heavy the light and the medium but they've had a buff now and that's quite nice looking at the heavy one as well we can have a look here instead of 420 is now 432 which means it gives you a whole plus 12 to your armor rating here so yes instead of one two three on pluses on your heavy medium and light uh that's what it used to be it is now plus four plus eight and plus 12 but does that relate to our master armor plating and our bolt plating let's have a look shall we we we'll start off with the master plating and if we were to look at a piece of this you can see this would give us 435 which is a plus 15 this is not much up from the heavy plating at all really it's a plus three in between so instead of a plus four like the other stuff you have a plus three here what you really want to do though if you want some armor and you want it to be really good and you can get your hands on the grandmaster armor stuff is you want the bulk plating so if we have a look at this you can see this gives us a whopping 445 which means that's a whopping plus 25 armor onto our armor there so that is what you want to use if you want to be really bulky and armored up really well this one is the one the bolt plating but if you're going up the tiers now it's going to be a lot better to be better protected than it was in the previous version so 3.0 makes it so you can armor up a lot better than you could in the previous version so happy days you'll have some more armor to be able to deal with some of those really hard bosses to deal with and whatever else it should help out a ton and be a great help to you now having a little bit more armor added onto your character so now go ahead and armor yourself up with the platings it's going to be a lot more worth it now that you can do it that way instead of just having the plus one two freeze on the basic ones and of course if you want even better armor then the bulk plating is where it is to go if that is what you want do remember though adding those kind of platings to your armor usually will make you a bit heavier having them on because they will you know increase the weight usually having one of these on so just bearing that in mind and the heavy plating itself is pretty worth it now just having that on your armor because of course that's going to give you a lovely plus 12 per piece instead of a plus three so if we are going to put that all together across my you know armor here you know one two three four five that would give me a lovely plus 60 armor bonus and then think about that and now you have a plus 60 there if you want even more bonus you can go over and have some food that will give you a plus as well so let me find one and if plus 60 armor is not enough for you and whatever else you have in there if you were to have just all heavy plates then of course you could always have a Sumerian feast which would give you even more armor looking at me now 224 now I am 274 so you can add that on top and be even more tanky so your dreams of becoming a tank might be even more realistic in this update you can be way more tanky and of course if you want to be even tankier 
there are some nice buffs you can use i believe that will help a lot with it like not being knocked or staggered down with a strength part like buffs here and there's another one i believe that lets you go through shielding and stuff like that you could use or yeah you block unblockable attacks at the highest stamina cost and you react twice as quickly after successfully blocking you can actually go ahead and make a proper tank build that's going to act like a proper tank build of some of these buffs if you were to go in there and you know make it a thing so yep this could be something that you want to do you could do a proper tank build be really armored and have happy days but anyways i think this is an awesome change it's it's been a change that's been needed to happen for a while and i definitely like it because it definitely will make up for you know your frills not being as tanky depending on the build you want to do it's going to make your character a lot better at you know defending itself when it comes into sticky situations so yeah i hope you liked that video thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye